Some of their specialization was in pottery. Um, the Mississippian culture, which the Etowah Indians were part of, would have usually contained fragments of seashells as a binder. And that is one way that you can tell Mississippian pottery from other cultural types of pottery, is the inclusion of limestone and seashells. So by looking at the pottery that we find in the Mississippian period, there are some things that we can tell. Um, looking at some pottery, you'll notice that it's decorated with symbols, uh, such as some with crosses in the middle. This cross, um, anytime you usually see anything crossed within the Native American cultures, it has to do with what they call an axis mundi, or the center of the universe. So it goes to their belief in a four-part-tied world, meaning the uh, east, west, north, south. Um, their north includes the upper spirit world, and the, the south would also include an underworld, like the world for the dead. We do have uh, some pottery that has bird effigies on them. Birds live in the upper world, so they're a lot of times associated with spirits. Whereas your circular symbols sometimes think of a rock splashing in water where you have water rings. It sometimes is associated with water. Uh, water can be associated with portals to the underworld, so the world of the dead. So a lot of times these will point you in the direction of spiritual uses. We have some here that have holes in them uh, for hanging with strings. So we know that when they were used, they were hung from an item. So this would most likely be a cooking jar that you'd hang over a fire or some type of storage jar. Also, sometimes you will find a pot with a hole in the bottom of the pot. Um, this is like a ritual sacrifice uh, of the bowl itself because the bowl was considered to be a living entity. So sometimes in a burial you may find this in the bowl, um, a way of killing the pot. Um, they would also do this with other structures, but basically symbolic destruction of something so that it couldn't be used anymore.